Hi guys, it's Kate from Purely Paperless, and I'm here today to give you a quick tour of live binders. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my window here. Now, I already have an account in Live Binders, and so I am not going to walk through that with you. Um, it's really easy to do. You just input your information. Now, you can see here that um, this is my binder bookshelf, and this one's kind of more for show. Um, I'm going to just take you through a quick tour of my Common Core Math folder, binder, um, and this one is not public because I do choose to upload um, some things that I've purchased. And so to respect the copyright, um, I do not make this public. Uh, so here is my Common Core Math binder. I have some basic um, Common Core Math information, um, links to important websites. I have uploaded the Common Core progressions in here. Um, now, some of these are saved as URLs or links to somewhere on the internet where others are actually um, PDFs. And so if I click on this, it will um, load the PDF for me to view so that I always have them in one convenient place. So and this is loading the Common Core progressions for me. Um, you can see it's pretty quick, pretty speedy. Um, so here it goes, it opens up, it's ready for me. I can access all of that information, a little <laughs> leisurely reading. Now I've also put in here all of my curriculum and pacing guide resources, links to what I'm going to need to do my planning, um, things that other districts have created that I found helpful. Um, I've also created a tab for each of the uh, different domains that I'm teaching in math. So I have my geometry, my measurement and data, um, I have all of these up here, and so I can go ahead and add um, information to each of these as I see fit. So these up here, the dark ones, are called tabs, and then the lighter ones are sub-tabs. So you can organize these by having a generic tab and then putting um, information into sub-tabs beneath that. So I'm going to show you really quickly here. Um, how to create your own new live binder. So in your dashboard, here's my dashboard, I'm going to start a blank binder and I'm going to call it Education Logs. And at this point, I'm just going to keep it private. Um, so I'll create my new binder here and you can see now that it has kind of pre-set up the information for me. I can um, add my tabs up here. So I might add tech blogs. I might add um, second grade blogs. And I might add general blogs. So if I'm here under tech blogs, I can just add the URL for any of the blogs that I want to add here. So I might want to kind of stay apprised of what's going on um, under the technology tailgate. So I'm gonna add that URL and insert it and it will save this tab for me. Now I've got that saved there. You wanna make sure that you save it. Um, otherwise you'll kind of have to go back and start over, which is a bummer. Um, so now I'm going to go to second grade blogs and, you know, I might have something here that I love. For instance, Jamie Rector's blog, second grade staff is super helpful as a second grade teacher. So I'm going to add that URL in here as well um, and save it. So now I've got that saved. And perhaps I have a general blog, um, you know, for instance, a personal favorite I might want to add on the purely paperless to my live binder. So I can enter in that URL and save it there. And now I have all of my blogs saved um, in one place. So I can go back here to my main screen. So I'm gonna go back to my dashboard here. I've got my binders. Now, to make it really easy to add things to your live binders, one thing that you can do is add the bookmarklet tool, and it's really simple to do. All you have to do is go under Tools in the Live Binder dashboard, and you're just going to click this link and drag it up into your toolbar. Done. So now, if I'm on a web page or I'm on 
um, you know, if I'm surfing the net and I find something interesting, I can just click the live finder it bookmarklet button and add it directly to my binder. So it'll show me kind of what it's going to look like in that binder. It might take a second or two. Um, live binders is a great tool to help you stay organized with information. I particularly like it for planning purposes. And for more information on how I use this in planning in my classroom, be sure to visit Purely Paperless for my um, pretty much paperless planning series. Thanks for watching.